Carbonized gray quickly became the hottest color in the Shelby F-150 truck lineup. This is a 2022 Shelby F-150 off-road edition, limited production truck in carbonized gray, black stripes at 775 horsepower. We're gonna take this out for a POV test drive, let you see all the options inside. Let's go take a test drive. All right, so at first startup, you've got, to, so the truck has remote start uh, and it's got keyless entry. You've also got Ford Pass, which is our incredible app that you're gonna have to be able to start your uh, truck uh, anywhere and lock and unlock that. So a lot of technology built inside of the trucks nowadays, uh, especially on these 2022 Shelby F-150 trucks. So you've got a lot of great technology. First thing you'll notice as soon as you get in, there's lots of room, lots of head space. Uh, you've got a 10-way adjustable seat, so we're gonna make a couple of adjustments there. Uh, get in the seat well, so you've got 10-way adjustable here and uh, in your passenger seat. Now, this truck does have the B&O stereo system, so if you'll notice right behind me, uh, you've got speakers in the headrest. You've got an 18 speaker B&O Unleashed system, so there's speakers all over the place. It's gonna give you a lot of great sound quality. We're gonna show you what that sounds like and feature a lot of the speakers, but I at least wanted you to see that. Front seats are heated and cooled, so you've got heated and cooled uh, front seats and you've got heated rear seats. So you'll notice this custom leather that Shelby does for the upgrades, they're ventilated, that way you can have some cool. So we've got some adjustable telescoping, uh, telescoping and tilting in your steering wheel. It's a leather wrap steering wheel. Great firmness on that so you can make those adjustments as you get ready to take off on your drive. Digital cluster up front. So on your dash, you've got your digital cluster. And uh, so you can see everything there. Make your adjustments on what you want to see. A lot of people like to see fuel mileage on it. You can see some performance. Uh, and other indicators there as well. So you've got your RPM and your speedometer, both digital as we set up. So we're gonna take off, go for a quick test drive and let you get a feel for what it's like to drive in the 2022 Shelby F-150 off-road truck. Now you'll start to hear that supercharger whine a little bit. 775 horsepower. This is Ford's five liter Coyote engine. It's been upgraded with Whipple's new 3.0 liter supercharger that's powder coated Ford Racing Blue. Uh, very iconic color. And uh, so you've got upgraded spark plugs, uh, fuel injectors, you've got throttle body upgrades, carbon fiber intake tube to get the uh, all that power. Uh, you've got a Borla exhaust system as well. You don't really hear a lot of the droning inside the cab from the exhaust. Now, as you start to step on it just a little, you'll hear the supercharger whine a little bit. You'll hear a little bit of throaty response out of the supercharger, but not too much, or out of the exhaust, not too much that you can't have a conversation, listen to the radio, uh, and do those things. Uh, you know, make a phone call. You know, if you want to chill out on the ride home after a long day of work, you can do that and you don't have a lot of noise inside the cab. But overall, you can tell very responsive engine, uh, very smooth drive, uh, great road visibility here. Now, one of the big changes we've seen, 21 and the 2022 Shelby off-road trucks, uh, and all their trucks for that matter, gone to a steel hood that you don't see a lot of vibration on the hood. So for nice setup there. Um, so, so really cool. You've also got the hood vents as well, enhanced cooling, kind of cool that engine down for all that power uh, that you're pushing through there. So oh, overall, great road visibility, a lot of fun to drive truck here. Now, a couple of things that you'll notice. Everything that you need to do inside the truck is hands-free. So you can do a lot of uh, your, you can make, make phone calls, it's all Bluetooth. You can change your radio station. You've got a, a trial subscription to XM Radio. So you got Sirius XM Radio. Truck does come equipped with the adaptive cruise control so you can set the distance of your cruise, how close or how far away you want to be from the uh, driver 
uh, or vehicle in front of you. So you've got that option as well. You can make all your adjustments to your sound right on your steering wheel, change your menu function straight from the steering wheel. Very, very easy to use. Now, as you're looking at the steering wheel and you look at the dash, you see all that carbon fiber accent that absolutely looks uh, incredible. So it's that rich carbon fiber look all throughout the trim inside of the Shelby F-150 trucks. Now, as we move closer to your center screen area, beautiful new 12 inch center screen with sync four updates on it uh, from Ford. So you've got a beautiful uh, 12 inch screen that gives you the ability to have maybe two thirds of the screen screen in one focus or function and then you've got a third of the screen to be able to use another. So you can use audio for one setup and then you can use your navigation for the other. If you want to you know, take a look at your zone lighting, all that, you can make that adjustment. Right above the dash you'll notice you've got uh, front facing camera, uh, you've got your park assist, hazard lights, and traction control on the top there. Now it does come equipped, this is a 4x4 Super Crew uh, 145 inch wheelbase truck so you've got pro trailer backup assist and an integrated trailer brake controller for those of you that want to tow. Now Shelby does not re-rate the tow capacity on there so this thing is going to push over that 10,000 pound mark uh, for those of you that want to do some towing. Ford really changed out in 2021. We see that continued in 2022. The bezels, the buttons that you've got from your heating, heated steering wheel to your uh, volume control, climate control, which is also a dual climate control setup. So me, the driver, I can have one temperature. My passenger, if they want it to be hot or cool, uh, they can change that temperature to whatever they want it to be. And you can also make that to where inside the cab is uh, the same climate as well. So you do have that function as well. Ford does have a change right on the dash where we've got a uh, secondary kind of glove compartment, a little smaller compartment above your main glove compartment, give you a little additional storage that you've got there. Now, you do have your um, shifter. It does collapse, so you can collapse your shift knob. You can put that down if you're going to do a little bit of work, if you're on the road and you want to move over. Now, this doesn't have the interior work surface that's been really constrained at the Ford plant as an option, so we're not seeing that in a lot of the trucks in, in late 21 and in 22. But you do have a collapsible shift knob here. Um, all of your controls, if you want to shift into sport mode or any type of off-road, four-wheel drive type condition, is here on your drive mode right below your integrated trailer brake controller. You can make all the adjustments into that. As you make the adjustment on that and turn that dial, it's going to change on your dash here and it's going to shift it into you know four high, four low, whatever it needs to based on those modes. So very intuitive easy to use system uh, that you've got there. Now you've also got a 12 volt uh, and a 120 here so you can plug in. You've got a computer or any type of electronic device or you know heck if you're on the road and you need a hair dryer you've got that too. That's right here set up uh, right, right beside where your pasture sits. A lot of the badging that you'll see this is the 60th anniversary, 60th anniversary Shelby American so 1962 to 2022 a badge on your um, your extra glove compartment that you've got there you'll also notice on your center console which is absolutely uh, gigantic you've got a badge here that's going to have your Shelby F-150 this is serial number 259 out of the 600 total produced in that uh, 2022 off-road truck so you've got uh, right above above the um, your rear view mirror you've got the option to open your shade for your twin panel moonroof so you have a twin panel moonroof that will open the shade all the way to the back slide all the way back there and then you've got the option to slide that back or you can tilt it as well so great option there you've also got a button for your rear power rear sliding glass it's going to open and uh, great for 
you know, springtime, fall time, if you just want some good airflow inside, you've got that uh, capacity there. You know, some people keep the shade closed. Me personally, I keep my, my shade uh, open uh, all the time. I like the natural light inside of the vehicle. Now, a couple of things you'll notice. You do have uh, 50 state legal window tint on your first two uh, out in your front two windows, the driver and the passenger. So that is 50 state legal. Some people do opt to, if your state allows you to get you know some additional tent, that is an option as well. It's just based on whatever your state allows. But it's a 50 state legal uh, tent on your front two windows. Now, again, I told you, you got the B&O system. You've got uh, Apple CarPlay is wireless now inside of the new 2021 and 2022 F-150 trucks. So you've got uh, Apple CarPlay that's wireless. For those of you that use Waze, Waze is integrated in through that system as well. So you've got uh, a lot of great technology inside of our new Sync 4 system. So awesome setup there. In the rear, so you'll notice you've got the custom leather on the inside uh, front and then our cat, our second row is bigger than anybody else's uh, our co competition that's where we we really dial that in so you've got a lot of room in that second row uh, for your passengers leather seats there heated uh, so you've got a cool setup in the rear for storage if you want to pull those up you can actually uh, flip your seats up to give you a little bit of storage if you're carrying anything uh, or you, you know if you've got passengers lots of room in the rear seat there as well now overall i'll just tell you so the drive on the shelby f-150 off-road truck it really you know i've always said this i think it looks very raptor-esque on the exterior uh it's a sweet setup overall it looks raptor-esque you know it's a shelby based on that front end that design looks good but what you really get out of this is a comfortable fun ride now with those fox shock upgrade those are tuned and dialed in for just regular standard highway driving uh, you've got a lot of uh, flexibility there so it's a dual speed control if you decide to take it off-road or do anything that you need that that adjustment for any kind of high speed or low speed uh, off-road use uh, you can do that otherwise they're tuned for the highway this thing rides absolutely plush so it's a smooth ride for a lifted truck, you know, BDS suspension upgrade, it is a smooth, smooth ride, and you're gonna love riding in the uh, Shelby F-150 off-road truck. Now, a couple of things to note, that we've got a plaque here uh, that, that most of you are gonna see as you buy these. Use 93 octane whenever you can get it. If you can't, 91 octane is okay. And there is a mandatory break-in procedure, and that's to kind of let the engine break in, supercharger break in, get a lot of that oil to run through the system, uh, kind of get used to you and your driving pattern. You, you're not going to have to not go over 4,000 RPMs for the first 1,500 miles. Don't use the tow um, function as well, and um, don't use cruise control. Let the truck break in, and you're going to go in, get your, your first oil change, maybe check the alignment on it, and you're ready to rock and roll. I've had a couple of clients that have sent me pictures of, you know, 14, you know, 90 something miles in a, in a, a picture. So a lot, lot of fun there and excitement as you get through that break-in procedure, uh, 1,500 miles there. Now again, I told you three year, 36,000 mile on the Ford F-150 part, the donor chassis, which happens to be a 502A Lariat, uh, very hard loaded uh, optioned out truck. So you get a three-year, 36,000-mile warranty there. You'll also get three-year, 36,000-mile empty warranty from Tuscany Shelby on the Shelby part. A lot of dealers are supported all throughout the country. Uh, so we've got dealers in, in all 50 states. So you, you've probably got one close to you if you're an out-of-state buyer. If you don't, we work with a lot of, lot of dealers that can support the warranty there, most of which it's going to be supported by your local Ford dealer, and if you need any kind of special attention related to the Shelby component, Tuscany's warranty team is outstanding. They'll help us get to the right partner if you need any kind of support there. Low maintenance, uh, you know, no headaches, great product truck, fun to absolutely drive, and uh, we do it. We do it big here at Reddick Brown Ford. We're one of the number uh, number one Ford performance and specialty vehicle dealers uh, in the Shelby lineup. So we do a lot of the off-road trucks, the lowered four-door trucks, the lowered two-door trucks. 
Shelby Raptors, F-250s. Uh, we adopted it early in 2016 and uh, we just do it right. We do it right by taking care of our clients and try to order the best, best color options and product for our clients, offer the best service that's out there. Now, I'll tell you this, these things move fast uh, and so there, there oftentimes there's waiting list. I encourage you if you're looking to get into a Shelby F-150 off-road truck, you know, you may check back uh, with us, you know, every couple of months, you know, we do get extra inventory. We get some cancellations for people that either don't want to wait on production because as, as you probably know, production is tight uh, across all manufacturers. So it's taking a little bit longer than normal to get inventory. Some people wait, they find another vehicle, lifestyle changes, and they can't, you know, they can't make the purchase. So we do get some cancellations, uh, but get in, get early as we get ready for the 2023 model year as well. Uh, we've got some some opportunity to get in there. That's probably going to happen in October. We'll start taking orders for the 2023 model year uh, that's going to come up. But 2022 is here. These things are starting to roll off the plant uh, floor and and hitting dealers. Reddick Brown Ford is your preferred performance and specialty dealer. I'm Brock Patterson. National Specialty Vehicle Manager. I'm excited you guys have watched our video today. Man, take a look at, at all of the great products that you can find that we offer. We've got some inventory right now. Uh, you check us out, reddickbrownford.com. That's where we are online. Be sure, if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also take a look, our Instagram that Braxton does is absolutely out of this world. Take a look at our Instagram. We're on TikTok, we're on Facebook, we're out there for you to see. Thanks for stopping by and watching this video. Make sure you like it and uh, wanna see some comments about what you think. Is it? Does this compare to a Raptor at all? Wanna see what you think in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. No, I